Welcome back to more Hill Orc Fighter Jack. I'd say everything is going extremely well. Four pips of piety is a very nice uh, security, particularly once Invo finishes climbing to primary. The next priority is to establish a pillar in layer. Water moccasin, not much of a threat since Ellie counters poison. I think the elect, dac elect dagger is the best option. At this point, uh, the yellow bar is probably the largest it will be because poison tier decays over time for the player as well. So this is the optimal time to use purification, not when the fight is over. And not piety cost is small, so it's okay to potentially have to apply this again if the water moccasin happens to nail me after I purify. Three to five piety, so not tiny. Whereas heal other, doesn't give a cost. Other is two to three. So actually that's considerably more expensive a bit more expensive than I thought, so I think I'll hold off because this is not a serious situation yet. Um, and I do have like greater healing if it turns into one. Yeah, I can just go back and rest. My piety is, you know, 10 lesser healing, so it's lesser healing only costs half a, half a point of piety on average. I think I have been overusing Purify in my earlier Ellie games. Okay, Spiny Frog. Probably the Elect Dagger again. I mean, almost certainly. And since this is a significant threat, I'll just head all the way back. A significant threat for Lair, I mean. Not necessarily a, a significant threat to this character. At least piety decay is slow, so it's definitely whoa better to to rest to recover HP rather than using some of the more expensive abilities, such as Purify. Inactivity is minus one piety every 1,000 turns, which is you know, 
about three times more generous than some of the more aggressive gods. Or less patient gods. See how the yellow bar size um, translates into high damage in big chunks early on and then much smaller chunks later. Also with the... Why am I carrying the Staff of Conjuration? My stash is on D9, Lair's on D10. Okay, so I can just drop it off at a new stash that I'll build here. That'll do. need to drop anything else. Yeah. And I should remember I've got that rage in it. I had to adjust my music. My piano bar. Almost got this pillar uncovered. Bullfrog. Maybe the rapier would be better. That did well. Been meaning to test FSIM that, see how well it performs. And once I get some chunks, I'll do so. Shafted. And a volcano. So I think I should try to fight this here. Let's see how that goes. Whoops. Good. Now I wait in place without changing armor. Now I head for the upstair. The volcano is nearby, so I leave a single exclusion to indicate where that audio cue occurred. Unfortunately, if I go up here, it'll mean more fighting and possibly missing this volcano 
I do not have RF, so the volcano would be challenging. Nevertheless, I'd like to give it a shot. I don't even have um, I don't even have a resistance potion. Okay, there's a stair. And here's a water moccasin. Rather than wait for a lightning proc, I think I'll use this. I do want to know where this goes right away. I'll get my MR plus on. Okay, not great, but not terrible either. So now I have nearby again. Plenty of teleport. I want to do a kind of sweep around. Well, around this stair, really, for now, since it is... Ah, found it. Good. Okay, I think I can just... There's no defending pack. So, rather than wait for something to patrol into me and force a delay, lengthy retreat, just head in, maximize my resistances. GX huge AC is a poor orcs RF in this situation. Oh, it is Arlek, so definitely the rape here. Another exit point. Wonder whether this one erupts. With 19 rations, there's no reason to. Yeah, it does erupt. to rush my exploration pattern. Stone arrow, and I have disintegration as my counter. I'm not in range of his stone arrow, so I can back up. And I'll try my best shot first. Okay, nothing amazing. Heal other is not going to work.
is really dangerous. These are legs, so it's between the scimitar. <coughs> it's between the scimitar and the rapier. I think I'll go with the scimitar. Stone giant. It's not great. Should have retreated a bit more, perhaps. Okay, stone giant, extremely dangerous. I have no pillar. He has lots of rocks. This is far from ideal. No pacify. So this is a situation that calls for maximum resource expenditure. In fact, I should have quaffed might as soon as that stone giant showed up. Hexing is not going to work. Could have worked on the gargoyle. That was another option. Acid is definitely interesting. I think first I will hit him with Curare. To slow down his damage potential. I can then max his poison level. Acid is certainly warranted. Both of these monsters have weak EV. That was a great acid shot. Now it's a question of which weapon to use. I want to maximize my damage while he's hurt. I could spend a might here or I could conserve. Maximize my damage while he's corroded. Um, I think I'll use a lek while he's corroded and switch to scimitar once he's not. Good hit. Good. Didn't need a mic pushing. That cost me a curare needle. That's all right. That's what they're for. That could well be RF. Unfortunately, I didn't remember to 
empty my slots, inventory slots before entering, but I do have remove curse, so that reduces the pressure. Plus 10 versus 30 plus 10. So I'm picking up some RF, which I think is probably a net win. In here, anyway. I guess I can try on the ring mail. For curiosity, it's, not, it's lackluster. I mean, as a follower, gift, it's lackluster. Obviously, it's terrible for me. Fire Elemental spotted me. You may have friends, so I'd rather fight him out here. Do you risk getting erupted on? So the Afrit can fire through the fire elemental, which is bad, obviously, for me. Fire elemental is immune to hexes. The Afrit is vulnerable to them. The Afrit has low HP. Heal other could actually pacify him. It's amusing. I think disintegration is a great play against the Afrit. Unfortunately, it's not enough to finish. So I'm going to give up the choke point. Try to finish their ifrit. Great. Easy enough. It's an identical scimitar to what I already have. Not a priority. Try this on. Identical. That's a great weapon that I definitely want to carry out. It'll be a long time before I get a chance at a 
demon whip again. May as well start testing. these two hand weapons, plus two, plus one. Make sure everything looks right. That's it. So all that remains is to decide what else to take with. I like the scimitar and the chainmail. That's full inventory change back into my layer gear. Good enough. So now I need to work my way back to the lair entrance. And drop the useless items that I'm carrying. Establishing a pillar. Good. Scroll of Identify. I get some chunks, I'll move the stash down and do an inventory session. Thank you. 
First yak, didn't roar. Okay, I have some chunks. So it's time to head back and do inventory. Oh, there's an orc wizard. <laughs> Didn't you notice you there, friend?
Thanks for being patient. I need to do fsim as well. Okay, testing yak. Six point four versus six point one, almost the same versus five point two or point three, nearly the same. So I think the way I've been switching with um, using elect to open, looking for the big max damage, and then finishing off with the rapier or the scimitar, if, if AC is high, makes sense. Could check versus an elephant for the high AC case. Five point three versus six point five, but that's a lot spikier. So yeah, I think what I'm doing makes sense. Follower junk. I still have not found magic mapping, so I don't want to blind read scroll one stacks yet. is looking good otherwise. Can blind read these two. Two stacks. And use ID on the rest. Zerk Potion. I guess that's good to carry around. It's a bit redundant, but not terribly so. Magic mapping, that's handy. And now I can blind read that one stack scroll of here. Yeah. And that leaves me with a free identify, which I can use on these weapons. I don't have enough room to carry. I want to... 
ID the one I got most recently. So far that's K. Because they tend to get better as you go deeper. So I'll ID K. Oh, you win some, you lose some. to read this. It might be a brand weapon, so I'll stand on my stack of secondary weapons while I read it. In relation. And that concludes the inventory business. Uh, except for I've got that two stack of scrolls to read. And it's the same deal since I already found magic mapping. Just read it up here. And uselessness. Okay. All that remains is to quaff the potions two stack when I find a suitable location, which would be on a downstair, blind downstair. Once I get that, oh, that's not mutation, that's resistance. Region is so fast with the amulet. Level int, as always, despite the high encumbrance on the crystal plate armor. Ah, Invo has reached primary. That's good. Kind of need to train something else. Maces is undervalued. I do have a flail of protection, which pairs well with region. This level is almost done, it's pretty clear. Ooh, brightly glowing mace. Remove the exclusions. trigger yeah it can trigger the alarm trap there's no harm in that there's nothing left on the floor now the question is do I want to challenge this vault or bypass it? That's a lot of simulacra.
I have the flaming scimitar. They are slow, so I can probably outmaneuver them. But to what end? I have RC plus. I have high AC. Curing a translucent hat. Curing. My time of using clouds is over. I've, I've passed Invo 6, so I might be pumping out negative energy now. It's too risky. Could rage and kill the simulacra that way. But the main reward is a book, which I don't need. Curing, which I don't need. An artifact hat, which I can't identify yet. I'm going to replace my helmet. So, I think that can wait. A little while. no reason not to delay it at least a floor. So that means uh, this floor is done. Layer two is breached. It's time to call the session here at five pips of piety now, which is great. ready to go for layer two. Actually, I should go ahead and blind quaff this potion of experience. Wow. <clears throat> That's why blind quaffing is so strong. Okay. Well, maces and flails doesn't need that much progress. Um, like investing in primary skills makes sense. And then I can fill in the secondary skills afterwards or on the next potion of experience once I see where that puts me. So this is good. So this time around I think short blades. Long blades is already competitive with Elec Dagger at 
um, tertiary, so it should go to secondary. Yeah, I think I just boost all the secondary skills for this next potion of experience. Except maybe um, not throwing. It's already at uh, secondary. Even though my throwing arsenal is quite good for this stage. Okay, so short blades, long blades, slings armor shields. That's all the secondary skills. Nope, axes. Done. And I also increased evocation, so it finally caught up. I'm good. That all makes sense. Done so, probably ready to take on that vault. And we'll do that after breaching triple visiting layer two. Spiny frog. I don't think anything else is coming, but he did make noise. There's the big damage. Now I just need to finish. Super spiny frog. Switch into the troll leather armor. The regen outpaces the poison. I have two sources of it. Curing would be nice, and the XP, I suppose. Time to give the Scimitar of Flaming a workout. And I probably want to Berserk here, which means I want some chunks which means um, delay this a little bit. So I'll need to equip this the whole time I'm fighting him. For the MR. Great. Maces and flails is still leveling fine. Need to be a bit aggressive here to find chunks. Uh, 
I do think it's useful to alternate between caution and aggression um, because one doesn't need to be cautious all the time in order to intercept local patrols. So one can just um, give the patrols time to wander in and if they don't be aggressive for a bit and then uh, resume another period of caution to intercept patrols that may have moved into the area or that are in the new area. Anyway, I've got some chunks now. So, time to try this on my Fire loot is still on the floor. I can try this ring as well. Magical power is not useful. Take the decks. go. There's a positioning question, but I think I'll just stay in the center rather than risk the freezing vapor. The anaconda is fast, very fast. Hydra, bullfrog, Komodo, yak. What I'd like to do here is enslave the hydra. I think that would help a lot. Okay, great. Now it's time to back off a bit. Oh, and I forgot to quaff. Let's do that. And I also forgot to rage. Now I don't think I can attack my ally, even though it's a dead thing. Yeah. So the question is, what do I do? Well, I can retreat it out. Oh, no, I can't give it orders. <laughs> well, I just need to make it to this side of the door and then close the door. Oh, he's no longer charmed. Um, not good. I think I keep running. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, what if I pass out here? Probably the next step I fall out of Berserk. So... 
and I pass out in the freezing cloud and Hydra steps to me. Let's try to move away. Okay, I didn't pass out. I do get to close the door. A little extra wrinkle there brought on by the Ellie conduct. I mean, that wasn't very well executed. Multiple micro errors. Let's see whether I can regen before the Resist runs out. Oop. I don't think I'll need rage for this, but uh, I'll need regen less. He did a fair chunk of health without resistance. So I even though this character is quite OP, I shouldn't get so sloppy. I should have already switched back to region. I wonder why I had resistance identified. Maybe it's just identified in that vault. piece of armor. And I can move these uh, follower gifts out of the I to identify pile because I'm never going to spend uh, an identify on them. The ring of magical power is surplus as well. Particularly since I have a potion of magic for emergencies. Can delete my old waypoint. So I think that vault, trying to commentate, definitely um, screwed up my execution. So it was a little bit more complicated than the usual. So I'm still not immune to errors induced by cognitive burden of commentating. Anyhow, that's a good stopping point. Thanks for watching.